What's up, everybody? How we doing this week? We are back at it again for another weekly installment of the Tuesday Night Extreme Big Blocks. We are at Lernerville Speedway this week. Lernerville Speedway is going to be the place where we do battle. This should be a fun one. I tend to actually enjoy Lernerville because there's no walls around three quarters of the track. There's only a front stretch wall and then that ends at the end of the front stretch and there's no wall from the end of the front stretch till the end of the fourth turn. So it gets fun because the fast line's right around the top on a track with no wall. So we are going to go ahead and jump out for some practice. See how we do. See where we kind of stack up on a fresh track right now. I wish they would fix this pit. Super, super bouncy. Super, super bouncy. Oh, we're getting hit. We got hit, and we didn't even enter the track. We got hit. I hope this isn't how tonight's going to go. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> Already got hit, and uh, had you even entered the track. This is going to be fun. Jason, let's get it. Let's just not get hit again. We're going to go ahead and just pull out now. So the biggest thing here is just keep all four wheels on this side of the berm. If we can do that through the whole race, we'll actually finish pretty well because there's going to be people that go over the whole race. And this is what I'm talking about by going over. We're not going to be slapping walls too much. Well, we might slap it down the front stretch, but we might be flipping. Flippity dip. We're going to try to get all of that out of our system right now. So we don't have to deal with that during a race and cost us big time. Again, keep all four wheels on this side of the berm. And go. This track will work weird because obviously the fast line's up top. So we're going to slick off the top and there I go over the edge again. Into a wall. And yeah, we're going to slick off the top first. And then you'll see some people probably later in the race move down. You might see some of the slower guys running down there in the heat. Um, just because they don't feel comfortable running up around the edge. I can honestly say this track in the 358 car is a ball. Mainly because of the, I guess, lack in power. And you can really throw it into the corner, run it up to the edge, and just drive it off. This seems like we're going to have to finesse into the corner. Probably can still drive off if we get that good run like that. Get 
get up on the berm and it just gets treacherous about sticking your right rear over it. I don't have too many laps around this track in a big block. Have some, but not too many. I've got a lot of laps in a 358. Got a few wins on this track. So it's a track I do feel fairly comfortable with. It's just getting used to the amount of power that the big block has. I'm going to try to drop down a little bit. And again, it's it's really just going to be a matter of attrition at this track. Try not to get punted off the outside edge and try not to drive off the outside edge on your own. Two pretty simple things to do for tonight. And it, that should pretty much equate to a decent finish. Even if it's towards the back we're still going to be towards the back of probably either the lead lap cars or even top five I, I, I would even possibly give it tonight now don't hold me accountable for that so if we don't hit a top five I, you can hear it out of my mouth guy tried sliding down low but the top just has so much speed that unless you almost slide into the person you've got to be ahead of them on the slider and they're still gonna drive around the outside of you but you might be able to woo up a little bit of their speed from the outside and there we go into the wall we got big problems with that engine that was a big one Let's see that in the out car. That was a big one. We flip backwards over. <laughs> oh, that happens though. So right now we're sitting in tenth. I mean, there's only what, sixteen cars. 18 cars. Oh, my bad. 18 cars so far tonight. We'll see if we get any more that come in. Huh? How you doing, pussy? Oh, trying to be as fast as y'all guys. Bitch, you're literally the fastest. Shut up. Oh, I just got lucky. Head, head back out. Obviously, more practice is good practice. We're sitting in 10th fastest now. Probably not going to get any faster, but the track is wearing out, and again, more. Wow, that's what we just did. <laughs> again, more practice on this slick stuff is going to be better. This is what we will be dealt. It's like driving with an egg underneath your foot. So you're probably not even going to achieve full throttle on this. Gonna be a lot of slotters though once this starts getting slick. People doing that line right there.
Right now we're just trying to stay underneath the black where it's still light brown. Normally we're trying to go above the black, but above the black on this one is again treacherous and you got to be almost perfect every time. So when it gets when it gets this bad, I tend not to drive completely on the edge. No, bro. Whoa! I like the wall. The wall is my friend. See? Friend. That's what we don't want to do. We'll drive it down in there with you, bud. No, I'm I'm going in where I want to go in there, guy. Cam pros. Cam pros. We're gonna try to fix this while battling. Cam. Cam. Hopefully that fixed it. Let me know. Completely sideways guy underneath us. Try to drive back underneath them. Alright, we're gonna pull off here. The frozen did. Off. Oh. Oh, technical difficulties on the camera looks like. Well, look at that. Oh no, that was me. I was just messing around. Okay. Here. Ah, should have. Okay, we're good now. I might have made it a little too small. Make it a little bit bigger. All right. There we go. We fixed it. Fixed it. Twenty percent on the next session. Uh, 
haven't really moved. Wheel. I guess let's go back out. We're hoping this is not going to be a slam fest and just knocking people off the track because honestly, I do get worried about that sometimes starting races here in this kind of group and, and everything. I get very worried. Actually, I, I just throw this on for a second while I talk. No, I get very worried on this track that people are just going to send it in on the bottom of you and then all of a sudden you are getting punted off the track for absolutely no reason but the fact that they just they wanted to they they wanted that spot more than you and they know that if they punch you off the track then obviously you're out of the way simple as that Well, I guess let's jump in a No joke. You loved it. Well, Shit, when I started working it was 5:35 an hour a, for the uh, home wage. Yeah, it's drivers a, meeting. They're normally doing a drivers meeting. Oh, yeah. Yeah. During this, so that's that. why I jumped over here to see if they're doing the drivers I meeting or not. Agree. I'm pushing 40. Must be nice. Must be nice to be 40 years old. Yeah. <laughs> We're about to jump in qualifying. I'm not going to comment. Uh, why are you older? Yeah, and we're trying. We're trying All to right. see Damn, if they're going to do the I drivers am. meeting, and again, they're just <laughs> using it for normal chat session. Much better. A little bit, but not much. Ah, I wasn't carrying enough speed. Well, I, I don't know. I just I don't feel like I was straight enough, to be honest. I feel like I was hanging it way too far out, and we did not qualify good at all. Well, maybe you guys should stop getting stop getting off and start getting some of that blue chew. Well, they're gonna. Honestly, if they're gonna not do a. Driver's meeting, then we're gonna get out of here. Honestly, because there's no po no point in us staying in here and listening to them banter back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Shit. <laughs> Put Kaden in any car, the motherfucker can wheel a car. That's. Alright, we're getting out. Don't care. Done listening to him. Hey! At least I can't find the wall. I bet you I find it down that front stretch. I bet you I find it. Don't. Stingray, don't tempt me in trying to find the wall like that. Come on, bud. Come on. You know that. Looks like we're going to be in the second teat. Top four transfer. Just trying to add some stuff. Make sure we got it all set up. I see. Who is going to be the top four in this one? That's a cool car. That two back there. 
A city Chevrolet. Cold trickle. I just realized I am not buckled. What am I doing? How did you guys even let me get this far without buckling? I knew I was leaning a little too far. Let's fix that. Oh, I guess I am in this one. They were waiting on me the whole time. Oops. We almost missed the call, too. Ha! That could have been really bad. Line up on the inside. Pit road is closed. That could have been really bad. Glad I buckled in and realized what was going on. So normally it highlights it, and it did not highlight our name, so that's why I thought I looked over and saw that we had a number next to us, and I misread that one. Caught it though, 30 seconds to spare. Alright guys, first start will be on green here. Caden and Jeff will be leading. Um, let's have some good clean racing. I know James' uh, broadcast is on MDI TV on Facebook. Let's try to keep it clean for everyone watching and all the races, guys. Let's have some fun. So that five car up there, I know that we, we ended up passing him in the practice session, so for him to have okay, qualified up there, that just shows good. he's good on wet and not so good on the slick. There goes one over. We're just getting walked away from right now. I even think we had 20 cars, so it's not that big of a deal. I'm pretty sure everyone makes it. Sat the car right there over the edge. It's not what we were wanting to do. But it's not like it cost us anything. Finish sixth. Oh, not what we wanted to do. Not the greatest run for us. Not the greatest run for us. But again, not that big of a deal. So we finished sixth. Started seven. I am going to take top here. Oh, that's a surprise. Um, maybe one 
C main, and again, I bet everyone makes it. We do not have that many people tonight, so. And see, and I, I do like running with these guys, mainly because they don't beat on each other. They, they're they really respectful. I mean, the guy that was behind us, I'm positive he was faster than us. Positive. But, you know, he couldn't get by us. He couldn't get by us cleanly. So he's not going to knock me out of the way and kind of move us out of the track. It, it looked like he was going to be respectful and try to race me clean. Looks like I'm having camera issues again. What's going on with the camera? See if I can fix that again. We're gonna take it away. Hmm. Add it back and it's still stucco. Try this for a third time. Well, I guess second time. Get my whole face off the screen. There. That's that's that should have fixed it. Alright. Back to the race. Now that I'm done messing around over there. So it looks like I've missed a lot of this. I'm focused on the most exciting right now. Looks like it's this battle. I don't know if it's second. It looks like second. Second, third, and fourth. You got the first adventure down low. This is when I think things are going to start getting interesting is when it's going to start widening and out, widening out like this it's going to definitely make things more interesting more sliders more people are going to end up again off the track either from going in and it's too slick for what they thought it was and they just overdrive the corner and slide off or Someone makes a slider that is not clear, and the outside person gets the brunt end of it. Now we should be starting on the inside of the second row of this B main. Ten laps, ten transfer, and in the B main. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, we're starting third, so inside second row. See what we can do here. It's not me that we're waiting on this time, I promise. There we go. Let's see if this guy's gonna fire before we do. Figured he would. You'll be lining up on the inside. Pit road is closed right now. Just the drop off is horrible. Not too surprised that the leader chose the outside. Again, this is where the choose rule comes into play for the leader. He gets to choose inside or outside, whether they want to start inside or outside on a double file restart, 
or even the initial start. Obviously with this being a top dominant track, even though it is black and starting to get real slick up top, the top is still going to be the, the dominant line, the fast line. So, not too surprised he jumped up there. He does still start the race, though. Although that he jumped up there, the 115 does not start the race like a uh, traditional inside man starts. Saw the hole to get up. Time to get up. One off. Go going off. Inside, clear inside. What did I say about keeping all four wheels on the ground? Or I should say this side of the berm. We were doing really good, fighting for third still. Just overdrove it a little bit. Team cars were down low. See, so guy got pretty much punted off the track in the backstretch, lost the spot. Wall! And we drove off the edge! Whee! Again, not what we want to be doing. We'll see what they do. I think that we're gonna get a reset and then a track work in. That's really only like half to three quarters throttle and it's screaming like that. Oh, got to go off track flipping, so we'll gain another spot from that. So we'll finish seventh. Another guy just drove off the track. I don't know if that was intentional because he knew it was the end. Guys, let's go out there and try to run in the bottom a little bit. That'll make a little more couple of Kind of what I figured he would ask. So this one I will go out and do a warm-up so we can try to... Run like he mentioned, run in the bottom. I didn't mean to click that boy, sorry, sorry. Oh, whatever. Some of us getting black flags for speeding through the pits. Oh, so we are not getting a track reset. I thought we were going to get a track reset and then run in the bottom, but... The guy behind us is the one that just won the B main. 
Now, I don't know how if he's really trying hard to pass us. Now, I know we're all trying to run the bottom, so he's not really moving up. But... It's good that he can't really get next to us. That's... I really think it's going to be a lot of throttle control and, again, who can keep the car on the track? The more that we drove off the track and tried to catch those guys, the slower that we went. Well, there's nothing we could do there as we got plowed into. And again. Come on, guy. Really? You see that I'm literally upset. Come on, guy. Really? I'm glad that that was over. Cause, come on now. I mean, that guy, he just, there's nothing I can do. And then the 115, nothing I can do. And then the rest of you, like, what are you doing? Look up! Look ahead! Come on! <laughs> Killing me, Smalls. Alright, alright, a main time. Got the straps on. A main time. Let's see how bad this can go. The slam fun tonight was. I mean, actually, we don't really touch each other too much. Hey, I was, you're the one that got crossed up in. Uh, yeah. Can you extend? No, not the start. Let me know when he's back in and fully back in. I'm gonna we're gonna delay the caution until he can get back in, and then we'll go green one lap uh, to the caution for him. Alright guys, first lap of green we are not going. We're just gonna pace around so he can catch back up to the before we go green the next lap, guys. So do not go when it's green so pit road is closed right now, catch up over twenty-eight car. So obviously we're waiting for someone who got kind of disconnected due to whatever eye racing issues incoming packet or server connections or something so we're gonna be courteous One to go. Remember, do not not fire let him come in try to stay in position so when we throw the caution it's still everyone has the same position says. why don't we just single out get ready going green Get single file, guys. That's probably better. Single file position. There we go. The pace car is in. Half the 71 car. Green flag. Green flag. Man, that was fast. Fast, fast one lap. Again, this is just so someone can get caught back up. Stay in the position, you guys know you're in. Open. Stay in the position you know you're in. Well, I think I was in like 15th, but 
You gave an EOL, so now I'm 14. Now what's gonna happen? Boom, 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 One left boom. to green. Closed. Pit road is closed. Pass that double They doubled up. Get ready. Going green. I'm so confused what's going on here. Pass that double O. Five. Car. Post car is off. Time to do your job. Green, green, green. Pass that 16. Car. Seven's just all really kind of killing us right now. We ended up getting kind of forced up, and then we were behind them, and we dropped down to go past them, and, and they just dropped down. There goes one over the bank over there. Finally cleared the seven. Four wide in front of us. Guy wrecking down the front stretch. Caution, yellow flag. Line up, single file. Pit road is closed right now. Bottom line seems to be a little bit faster. Chris, let's go! Let me know when you want to get into another little practice session or even try to join the, uh, a race. We need to figure out, I know that you say that you like the street stocks, but obviously the, there's not many races for the street stocks. Um, ah, good, good, I'm glad. I've been trying to keep up on your stats and, and watch those as well, and, and you haven't been doing too bad, obviously. The one issue that I saw was uh, about, I don't know how many races ago it was now, you started on the pole and you finished like 10th or 11th, bub. What's up with that one? Chris Chris wants all of the Wallbanger. He is Harvey Wallbanger. I think we will be on the bottom. 
One to go. Next yep. time by, you'll be lining up on the inside. Camera? Ah, uh, well, I don't know if I can fix the camera right now. It's, I don't know why it's been glitchy all night. About to go green. Ah! Yeah, that, them, uh, Danny Doorbangers, they, they'll get you. I don't know what that was all about. But now we gotta give up uh, one spot. Let the pace car by. Let the and now we're gonna stop. Let, the pace car by. Let me see if I can fix the camera. See if just by taking it away and bringing it back it fixes it. Road is now open. That is true. You you did teach me how to Lightning McQueen one of them things. Well, I apologize for the camera issues that I'm having right now. I'm not really too sure why it's all glitchy and stopping the way it is. Road is closed. Confuzzling. Alright, bet. I'll be on, I'll be watching. Obviously, I got eight minutes, and I don't think we'll be done in eight minutes, bub. So, you're, you're going to have to wait, obviously, for me to jump on your stream until I am done with this. I wonder if we're going to go single. Looks like we're going to stay single. Because we didn't get a lap in, which I don't understand. That it's not like they called it off, but... Track is slick top to bottom. Gonna get back into rhythm. Ah, I just as I was starting to say, getting into a rhythm. Get that caution. Look at that. Black top to bottom getting into the corners. Whew! Haven't seen a track like this in a while. Really slick. That's why we're getting in, and it's just cars kicking out so sideways. We gotta get in straighter. But I'm trying to fend off the guy behind us. I'm trying to track down the guys in front of us. I'm trying to do two things at once. These guys are up here trying to cool their tires down. That's not gonna do anything. One left to green. You'll be lining up on the inside. Close. Pit road is closed. I'd rather be on the inside. Get ready, going green. Pace car is off. Green flag, green flag. Thought for sure we were gonna slide into dude.
Oh, get down. That upset the car. They got a better run coming off of four, but I think I'm better off of two than they are. Definitely faster on I'm definitely faster on the bottom. I think the guy that was just running on the very outside just stuffed the wall. You just hear the tires. Why do I have to let the He's the reason for the caution. Is he not? Now open. I don't understand that. I thought he was the reason for the caution. Well, let's see if we can get. I mean, we're up to 13. I'm not doing horrible. I think we could be ahead of these two and even possibly that was a 28 or something. Yeah, I don't think we'd be ahead of the 27. I think we'd be right around that area though. We're still odd numbers, so we are still going to be on the inside. One to go. Next time by. Oh, we are actually at 10 laps to go, so 10 or less to go, we go to single file. Get ready, going green. The pace car is in. Green flag, green flag. Guy over the bank.
Hello, one over the bank right there. Ninth place, not horrible. Alright, ninth place, not horrible. Not horrible. That could have been so much worse. That could have obviously been so much better, but that could have been so much worse. So I cannot complain about that. We're just I'm just trying to click back through real quick. Get all the way back to the initial start. We'll even fast forward through this. Do do do. Just try to watch it back a little bit again, trying to learn maybe where we had issues, what we did wrong, what we could have done better. So one of those situations again just trying to learn so like not horrible ninth was not horrible yeah exactly let's go like let's go Chris this is why I want to get you into maybe these cars or even sprint cars or something else because I, I we need to get a league we need to get a league going a league would help us tremendously with not just us, but like especially depending on who we let join and what we structure it as, you have practice nights to make obviously the league night better. So it, it's definitely something I'm, I'm down to do because I think a practice night, maybe Monday nights, practice nights, and then do Wednesday night league night or even Thursday night league night. That would be nice. It would be it would be perfect. Right, exactly. The car is also going home in one piece. I agree with you, sir. I agree with you. There was no major wrecks tonight. There was no dumb flips. I mean, there there was some dumb flips in the you know hot laps and practice, but that's just kind of getting used to the car and the track. I really enjoyed the bottom being pretty dominant most of the race well i mean i guess the top was very dominant still because as we're watching right now the seven car goes up there and he, they were gaining a ton of speed up there but was it controllable i mean how many guys did we watch there in the last five laps or so go off the track i mean at least three of them went off and either came all the way back to us or went off and we passed so I enjoyed this race and I think that we could have a lot of fun more races like this so yeah this was this actually wasn't a horrible night with, with the big block now a little update on the mass car Thursday night league if anyone was wondering if we were able to hold on to third place in the points we're gonna go with a yes they haven't updated anything yet it's been over almost a week and they still have yet to update whether they're not who finished wearing the points so we're just gonna chalk it up as yes we did For you, which car would you, I mean, need or have fun driving is two different stories. Because you've already stated how you don't necessarily care to drive the UMP mod. Which, again, the UMP mod is going to be hanging it out, and I, I definitely get that. So, late models, 
probably wouldn't be the best option for you to buy right away. I would either flip a coin between the sprint cars, the wing sprint cars, or the big block 358 modifieds. The reason why I say that is I, I feel like you will enjoy either one. Now, the sprint cars are going to be a little different to drive on dirt. You're hanging it sideways, but you're driving it forward, and you have this giant wing on top of you throwing as much air and downforce as possible. Which is stickier? Um, probably the... Probably the sprint cars, to be honest. 305s, you are flat foot, turn left. Turn back right just slightly to, to make sure it's uh, obviously not spinning out, but I mean, for the most part, flat foot. The 360s, you're kind of on and off throttle, more on than off. And then the 410s, again, same thing, you're going to be on and off throttle, more on than off. But definitely the sprint cars are going to be more of a stickier car on a dirt surface. The 358 big blocks, obviously what I'm running right now with the, with the big block modifieds. They're going to be hang the back end out, slidey, slidey, slidey. And you'll catch it, and you can run it that way. Obviously, you saw me do it a few times. But it's also not as fast as it should be. Because, as you saw, the guys that were a little bit straighter were driving forward. So, I think you would probably... You would probably have more fun with the sprint cars over the big blocks. That and you're also getting three cars. You get three cars for the same price as you would get for one car. The big blocks are getting two cars the same price as you would get for one car. So, I mean, you do the math there. Three cars, three different options for racing. What that will also do is the 305 sprints will open up another series for you within the rookie series because I do believe there's a 305 rookies. Right, that's what I'm saying. Three cars for. Oh, that's where we bounced. Whee! Three cars for like 11.95, or two cars for 11.95, or I mean, some of these cars you're you're paying 11.95 for one. I mean. The NASCAR car, for example, or the NASCAR truck. It, you're only paying $11.95 for one of them. You don't get all three, like Chevy, Ford, and Toyota. So the dirt car is definitely, you're getting a, you're getting a bundle. You're getting a steal almost. So 305s, 360s, and the 410 winged sprint cars. As we're watching right here, I, I'm telling you guys that the bottom was really nice for me because you can see that I, I drive in, I get a good amount of speed. Now I'm I'm rolling up the car quite a bit to keep it on the bottom, but it was necessary to do that. Obviously, this guy in the two, this green car, he's on the outside where it should be really fast, and I should not be able to stay with him. He's not pulling away for, uh, from us. I actually pull underneath the 16 there. I think this is where I'm about to pull underneath him again, and we're going to go three wide for maybe a lap or two. Yep. Right around the inside. They pull on me a little bit. Back to the inside of them. So they're not getting away from me. The only reason why they're pulling on me is because I had to slow up the car so much to get, obviously, through the bottom of the corner. When I was able to swing out a little bit wider in the straightaways, diamond in around the bottom of the corner, that's when it was nice. See, there goes the two, he's off the track. Oh, and then we have a caution. The other thing, Chris, is if you get either one of these cars, either the Big Block Mod, another guy that was off the track that came behind us, if you get a Big Block Mod or you get a sprint car, 
it's more horsepower than what you're getting with the street stocks. And the, obviously, uh, Legends cars, I had to think about what they were for a second. Uh, you're going to be going, you're going to have more fun, I think, because you're going to go faster. You're going to be enjoying more. Obviously, going faster, working on it a little bit more, and we can we can work on, obviously, setups. You can even find more open races with those than you will the street stocks. And it will again make the street stocks slower. So when you get back into them, everything slows down a little bit more. And when Donnie Doorbanger comes over here and tries to sideswipe you from the inside and make a slider that's not clear, clear, well, you'll know obviously what happens when he hits you and how to control the car because with the sprint cars it's obviously wheel to wheel you get you can bump a little bit but you get too much of a wheel contact you're going end over end there goes the two again over the bank this time he's not going to be saved by a caution we've already pushed the 16 high he's going to run up there he's going to try to fight us for a couple laps which he does pretty well on the high side but that bottom's really, really good. Ah, 601. Not horrible. Not horrible. Not for at least you in your old age. It's about handicap. That's what I heard. Yep, didn't do too bad tonight. Didn't do too bad. Top 10. Eventually, we will get up there. Not just get that top five, but we might even get that elusive possible win in a league. I'm hoping my first win in a league does not come in my own hosted league, but you never know. Alright, we're going to go ahead and get out of that. Whee! Guy just launched it off the track. Got the late models replay from last night going on in the background. Check who ran the fastest lap. Was not us this week. We did run the fastest lap last week after and got taken out, which was a shame. All right, so that is going to probably do it. We got pickup trucks at 8.30. Do you want to get those cars now and do some practice? That's totally fine whether we jump in a practice session or you just get the car now and jump in a practice session on your own and then if you want to do a practice tomorrow night like we have been on Wednesday nights um, that's totally fine we can practice that car tomorrow night if, if that's what you would like to do just let me know obviously no 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 that's not up to me I own the car you buy the car. It's your buying the car, sir. I own the cars. I own all of them. See, my content. These are all my cars. Owned, owned, owned. Dirt cars. Dirt car, dirt car, dirt car. I own all of them. Except for maybe like a couple of the dirt cars or one dirt car, which is the non-wing sprint car. But you get this car model. You get the 305. You get 360. And you get the 410. You ready to drive? Okay, you ready to drive. You got that sprint car? 